So there we go, episode 2. I kind of missed out like 2 minutes of footage there. You didn't really miss much to be honest, it was just Rio, Salem, and Dalton on the helicopter talking a bunch of shit. And we're starting our next mission here, it's worth like $4,000 or something. All we have to do is climb that ladder, take out a couple of guards, and then there you go. Easy money. So first we gotta climb up this ladder. <clears throat> Why is there a stove up here? Oh, these fucking tile head countries are weird. Shot. The headshot. Right in the head. Right in the fucking head. Right in the melon. He got him right in the fucking head. The bullet like went straight through his cranium. Right in the head, Rios. <laughs> Friendly fire will not be tolerated, boy. Oh, I got pins and needles. Hold on a sec. I gotta cross my legs over here. I don't even I don't even move my legs when I cross them over. I like lift them with my hands and just throw them over each other, like Kermit the Frog does with his legs. <laughs> and fucking <laughs> toss them over each other. And I'm hiding behind the truck like a little bitch. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Oh, look at that sneaky bastard. Just arms going. Rios. Are you really just sitting there doing nothing? Are you really just sitting there chilling behind the wall? Yeah, we're supposed to meet up with this fucking douchebag. Called Philip Clyde. You know, he kind of acts like a douchebag. And the ironic thing is, he becomes the third wheel, kind of. But yet he treats Salem and Rios like they're the third wheel. <laughs> Even though it's him that's dragging us down. Such a cocksucker. One of those occasions where you just wish that friendly fire was actually allowed and it, you could kill your partner because he's a fucking dickwad. Stop shooting me! Don't shoot me! Okay, shoot me! My health is low. Oh, oh, so that's what all that red stuff all over the screen is. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Uh, yeah, continue. Leo's, get your ass. Get your ass. I'm gonna see that. Take a seat, bitch. Oh shit, there's more. Yeah, how fitting yeah, that we have a bunch of tile heads in fucking uh, Pakistan. And when you kill them, they drop a backpack to the floor. <laughs> yeah. And you're supposed to pick them up? Yeah, I don't think so. If I go near those things, there's gonna be a fucking bomb in there. I know it. Derp. Spear! Spear! God almighty, this kid's broken in half. What 
does this guy think he is? Bro, that was so badass. You Not really. I'm Corporal Tyson Rios, and this is Private First Class Elliot Salem, Chalk 4, U.S. Army Rangers. Are you Philip Clyde? What the fuck do you think? Bro, we're supposed to help you take out Colonel Mo Ali. First of all, I ain't your bro, bro. Second of all, you don't tell me to wait. I tell you what to do. And last, if you think I need your help with this or anything else, you are a moron. Now that we got that cleared up, why don't you just shut the fuck up and watch a real professional in action? You might learn a thing or two. Why don't you shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of my face? All right, Professor. Why don't you start by teaching us what more I mean? He's right here. Inside the Continental Hotel. Why do you think I had you meet me here? See, on a serious note, that's not really a big exaggeration on what people are like in the army in real life. See, people join the army and then they think they're a big shot and they become a fucking arrogant dick like him. I'm not saying all soldiers are like that, but most of them are. See Fucking bullet for the skull just to fucking make them remember they're not actually invincible. Now is probably a funny time to mention that I'm actually uh, like against all forms of war. I'm like anti-war, but I don't like it. Again, so yeah. It's just all of those bullets flying past me sort of just reminded me about an oh, that's right. Okay, this obviously isn't working, just let go of the door. Where the fuck is Clyde? Yeah, he obviously thinks he's too good to actually wait behind and back us up. So he's like a way off somewhere else. Headshot. Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit where Clyde is, just as long as we get our mission done, we get our fucking money and get the fuck out of here. Where's Clyde? How the hell should I know? That guy creeps me out. <laughs> I don't like not knowing That's what he I was is. thinking. Going on a fucking rant about how um, everyone in Pakistan wears a tile on their head, even though like it's too warm and you shouldn't be wearing too many layers, otherwise you get like delirious. Wow, Jonathan Coachman's really let himself go. Is this what he's doing with his time now since he got fired? Alrighty then. Look at these fuckers here. They don't even have shoes. <laughs> back to back. Let's waste these guys. Oh, oh, fucking you gonna do? Okay. Got him right in the head. And go like hit the floor instantaneously. Where the hell's Clyde? I thought he was getting paid to take this guy out. I don't know. Oh shit. Hold on a second while I reload. Can you just wait a minute while I reload my fucking gun? God. People are unbelievable. Don't you know the rules of war? I take a shot, then you take a shot. We take it in turns. Help me with some defense, Tice. I'm on it. Hello. Oh, hello, headshot. <laughs> hello. I see someone was wearing that top today. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, boys. Oh, Chip. I'm bullish. Keep pressing forward. How are we supposed to get up there? Use. Oh, where'd that chain come from? Leo's had a spare chain and then sitting in his pocket. He just pulled it right out of his eyes. Derp. Alrighty. Look at these guns here. Yeah. Hold on a second, I gotta reload this piece of shit. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Do we have any of those, uh, Joker grenades left in our pockets? Throw a Joker grenade and streamers come out. I don't think that'd work in Pakistan as Pocky people don't really have a sense of humor. Be like a pie or something. Break out! Oh! Yeah. Wow, he just disappeared behind the wall. Oh yeah, that's right, because he's a boss. He, he doesn't get affected by bullets. Oh. You have Rios. Damn. We are so getting into force after this. If we survive, that is. Okay, I'm going to sneak up behind him by walking in front of him. <laughs> but we've got aggro, so it's okay. He won't notice I'm there, okay, Rios? Just keep shooting. That's right, Rios. Oh, you got him. Good boy. Don't you got him then, bag, boy. I've completed the mission. Transfer the second half of my fee into my account. Yeah, they're both here. I'll take them with me to extraction. You better run. You motherfucker. You okay, man? <laughs> this ain't funny. We could have been quit whining and head around the other side of this building. We that was quite a fall, too. So can land the chopper for extraction. A lesser man would have died from the impact. We gotta talk to Dalton. This guy is such an asshole. I know. I tried to tell him before, but he wasn't having any of it. Man, that's what sucks about the army. We don't get to choose what missions we go on or who <laughs> are you expecting with. to? Just have to follow orders. Are you just now figuring this out? It's kind of like that with every job, you know. Unless you're self-employed. <laughs> 